Hello and welcome to the RCB podcast powered by Kotak Mahindra Bank. Do you remember the day you got picked up by RCB and just to go back in time what were you doing that day? Well, we were all in um, uh, Malaysia for uh, the Under-19 World Cup, and I remember the day when um, the drafts were happening, and and uh, the Under-19 dynamic was a little different because we very rightly so had um, a, a money cap, if I could say. I mean, uh, that was the only time where I saw. Um, a restriction on on how much you could be picked for if you haven't played for india of course um so that for us was i remember even that moment for us was so amazing because the amount that we got picked for when they revealed it we were like we couldn't believe it you know um so if you had played a number of first class games you were eligible to get x amount of money which was the maximum in that bracket and if you hadn't it obviously was lesser so when we heard that we were picked for that much um we obviously didn't know anything about the teams we didn't know any anything about the dynamic of the tournament we understood what it's going to be like um we knew that the opportunity is going to be huge but we didn't know how the environment's going to be for us at that time was wow we never imagined at this age we, we we'd be getting that kind of money which you know obviously is is a big impact in anyone's life especially when most of the cricket players you see are come from backgrounds which are not as privileged in terms of you know having facilities ready and and stuff to use at any time you want so you have to work through the ranks and you have to work really hard so it just gives you a new uh, motivation in life that yes what i'm doing is is going to reap me the rewards um which i believe uh, should be the case when you've chosen it as a as a career and i clearly remember we went we went absolutely crazy there was one conversation where i heard from people that that the delhi team is is interested to go after me but then the 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 dynamic of their squad turned out to be so that they went for pradeep sangwan who was a left arm seamer um amazing bowler at the time he was he was our best bowler in under 19 and so delhi decided to go for him because they wanted the bowling strengthened and then rcb picked me and uh, that that i think um again in hindsight i feel like that was that was such a impactful moment in my life which i didn't realize at the time but now when i look back things could have been very different to what they are now and i would not have it uh, any other way than this uh, 2010 kevin peterson mark boucher ross taylor darren sammy manish pandey robin utappa the rcb management decides to let go of all of them and put the team's responsibility on your shoulders that must have been a big moment right I felt great to be honest. I didn't I didn't shy away from it. Because I knew the first 3 years of the IPL I knew that I always had this belief that I can do something special for the team. But I was not but you obviously have your own skill sets as well. So I felt like the the composition of that team where there were amazing players and rightly so in the right positions I was not able to play in the position that was my strength. and um for the first 3 years it was yes it was on and off more like a scratch for me a performance here a performance there um it wasn't as free flowing and as consistent as i would have liked it to be because i was playing at number 3 for india and i wasn't getting to do that in the ipl so it was a bit of a strange situation for me because i felt like i can replicate my india performances here and maybe better if i get the opportunity and i remember i think it was ray jennings at the time coach and and said um who approached me uh we, we i remember we were playing the champions league in south africa and shortly after that were um the retentions going to take place so ray jennings and and sid came and they said we want to ch- have a chat with you we are looking to retain only you um from next year onwards and we'll build a, a totally new squad and i was like that's that's great that's the opportunity i'm looking for but I told them very clearly there's only one condition I will only bat at number 3 and nowhere else. Um they said fair enough and I knew that I can I I can do something special for the team. 
and i had no problem um, accepting that responsibility and and you know for the team to feel like yes they can they can count on me uh what's your first memory at rcb first memory is actually i remember we got to um bangalore and if i'm not wrong we were we we did a launch at taj west end i remember um and it was a collaboration with some clothing brand who had done formal clothing for rcb i think so peter england or louis philippe one of, one of those and i remember um we were called to bangalore and i checked into windsor um and then we were called to taj for this first event the day i arrived uh so the squad is going to be presented it was amazing atmosphere like it was a proper ramp and all the who's who of bangalore and you know everyone's there and everyone's excited to see the players and the squad was presented and i remember walking into the room and that's the first time i met zack and and uh pk and these guys and it, for me it was surreal because i was just sitting there and i was so timid i was i was actually taken aback by the fact that i'm sitting in the same room with these guys uh they just made me feel comfortable and from there on our camaraderie our friendship grew and um, but yeah that that moment for me was very intimidating i clearly remember is this the famous uh, omni year as well <laughs> you can tell us that story that's a fun story without taking names i was after that season because i was an under 19 boy and i was sent uh, to the airport after the season ended in a omni van and um, which i wasn't quite pleased about because everyone else was getting like a decent car to go to the airport in and i was the only one that was left and probably they would have said ah oh, just give him anything just get him to the airport um and that wasn't a good car i'm sorry to say but i would have at least like a decent car which which is not broken i could see the road through the through the middle of the car it was absolutely gone like it was on on its last leg so not not a good memory Listen to all the episodes of the RCB podcast on Spotify, Ghana, Amazon Prime Music and Apple Podcasts. Yeh hai mera driver's license, my metro card aur yeh hai mera fan card.